Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of their righteous seed, who has made heaven and earth with all the ornaments thereof, who has bound the sea by the word of thy commandments, who have shut up the deep and sealed it by thy terrible and glorious name, who all men fear and tremble before thy power. For the majesty of thy glory cannot be bound, and thy anger threatening towards sinners is importable. But thy merciful promise is unmeasurable and unsearchable, for thou art the most high Lord of great compassion, long-suffering, very merciful, and repentance of the evil of men. Thou, O Lord, according to thy great goodness, hast promised repentance and forgiveness to them that have sinned against thee, and of thy infinite mercies have appointed repentance unto sinners, that they may be saved. Thou therefore, O Lord, that art the God of the just, has not appointed repentance to the just, as to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, which have not sinned against thee. But thou hast appointed repentance unto me, that I am a sinner, for I have sinned above the number of the sands of the sea. My transgressions, O Lord, are multiplied. My transgressions are multiplied, and I am not worthy to behold and see the height of heaven for the multitude of my iniquities. I am bowed down with many iron bands that I cannot lift up my head, neither have any release. For I provoke thy wrath and done evil before thee. I did not thy will, neither kept I thy commandments. I have set up abominations and have multiplied offenses. Now therefore I bow the knee of my heart, beseeching thee of grace. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my iniquities. Wherefore, I humbly beseech thee, forgive me, O Lord, forgive me, and destroy me not with my iniquities. Be not angry with me forever by preserving evil for me. Neither condemn me to the lower parts of the earth, for thou art the God, even the God of them that repent. And in me thou would show all the goodness, for thou would save me that I am unworthy according to that great mercy. Therefore I will praise thee forever, all the days of my life, for all the powers of the heavens do praise thee, and thine is the glory forever and ever. Amen.